So Dean, this is the best run uh, since you've been to the club now. Um, how would you compare performances at the moment compared to what we saw throughout that October-November period? Um, I think they're pretty much similar to be honest. I mean, uh, there's an attacking prowess to our game at the moment where we create really good chances um, and, and have scored some really good chances. I think we're dominating the ball as well, uh, which is something that I'd like us to do, playing in the opposition half. But the other side as well, restricting the opposition to few chances, which is always good. Um, you know, you think back to that time when we played the likes of Birmingham, Bolton, Derby, Middlesbrough. And, um, you know, I think we're playing similar with a few different players as well now. We've got some players coming back from injury. You know, Jack's come back, John McGinn's come back from suspension, but we've also got Courtney Hauser and uh, Tyron Mings, who are new players really and, and playing really well. So, you know, uh, it's a similar style, um, you know, but I think we're, we're playing with a little bit of domination at the moment, um, but also we seem to have a little bit of a spring in our step as well, which is always nice. And it's something I ask you fairly regularly, but how close do you believe they are now to what they're capable of or do you still feel there's more to come? No, there's definitely more to come and you know you see that in training, uh, working with them. Um, you know we've done a few debriefs over the last month or so where the players have actually debriefed themselves, um, put them in little groups and they've picked out things that they can do better and things that they're doing well um, and that's something that we want them to do because you know ultimately when they cross the line they're the decision makers. Um, so we want to try and give them as much responsibility as we can and they seem to be thriving on that which is really good for us. And it'll only be a month or so of course by the time the Blackburn comes, game comes around until the season finishes. Um, where does this next month or so rank in terms of things you've done in your career and how much you're relishing the challenge? Yeah, no, we're looking forward to it. It's a really big month. Uh, you know, it's getting important times when I do my six-week planner and I, I get to the penultimate game. Um, you know, so uh, we know it's getting to the, the, the nitty gritty part of the season and at the moment we're in really good form and the good thing is we've got a challenge for positions as well. People having to work very hard to keep their shirts, um, you know, and there's a, there's a competitiveness in training and um, I can see in the matches now that people are playing to some to the top of their ability and others, you know, pushing to get there and want to, you know, push the boundaries of, of how good they can be. You talk about that competition, it's meant the likes of Tammy Abraham, who haven't scored in recent weeks, it hasn't really mattered because others have stepped up to the plate. How nice has that been for the pressure to ease on him a little bit? No, it's been really good. I mean, the fact that, you know, most of the accolades this season have probably gone to Tammy and rightly so because they've got his goal scoring prowess. Um, and obviously the return of Jack, people have been talking about Jack. But, you know, amongst that, you know, Neil Taylor's come in and come back and I thought he played really well Saturday. Elmo's come back and been Mr. Consistency as he's come back into the team. You know, with Hutz getting injured against Stoke, two centre halves have done extremely well. Conor Hurihan scored two against Derby. Glenn Whelan comes in and he's been excellent against Derby and then, you know, uh, on, on Saturday as well against Middlesbrough. So all the players have been, you know, playing their part. Uh, Gazi gets his first goal. He scored against Forrest, which was ruled offside, but you know, looking back at it, it wasn't. And Andre Green's come back in the team as well. And, and then Zalbert got his first couple of goals, you know, for a while. So all the team at the moment are pushing each other. And it's the position that I want. So as you said, we've got Axel coming back. We've got Henry Lansbury coming back. Uh, Tom Carroll pushing. So I've got a number of players pushing for, you know, places. And, you know, it's one of them positions where I like to be in, where I have to make decisions and unfortunately upset people. I think probably the only, one of the only names you didn't mention there was Keenan. How good to see him back and having a hand in one of the goals as well. Yeah, no, really good because he's, he's had a few niggles since I've been here and uh, unfortunately missed a, quite a long period. He'd been in and out of, of training. So it was nice to get him back and, you know, he's come on to come on and, uh, you know, set the goal up for, for Albert, cut inside and hit a right footer. And, um, you know, he's a handful in training. I've been really impressed with, with Keenan with what I've seen, um, you know, and... Uh, no, it's good. I think we're in a good place at the moment, um, but we also know that we're just taking it one step at a time. And you know, we, uh, Blackburn when they come here, it's going to be another tough game, and you know, we have to go all out to get our three points. And down the other end, three clean sheets out of four—a record you would have killed for a couple of months ago. Um, what's been the, the difference lately? I think defensively, as a team, we, we're, we've been better. Um, you know, Jed Steele has done really well. Um, you know, Lovray got 
concussed against um, West Bromwich Albion, so you know um, I didn't put him in in the, in the next game, and, and Jed's come in and done really well. Um, hasn't had an awful lot to do. will be the first to admit that, uh, but vocally he's been good. He's got a really good presence. Um, Distribution-wise, he's been very good, and you know he's got a good relationship with the defenders, and you know. Uh, it's good that I've got, you know, Lovra pushing him as well. So, you know, that's what you want, that competition in all positions. We're midway through the international break now, four wins in a row. How have you used that time with the players that are here? Well, it's, it's the sign of a good squad when you've got so many players going out, you know, on international duty. I think we've got nine. Uh, young Jacob Ramsey's been called up for the 18s as well, which is, you know, really pleasing for the football club and himself. Um, you know, so it's a smaller group, so we can do a lot of individual positional play. Um, you know, and we're, it's time for a little bit of a break as well. There's been a lot of games. You know, we just had three games in six days, so you know the, they can have a bit of a break, and we can start ticking them over and, until really we start preparing for the Blackburn game. You know, uh, after the weekend break. We've spoken to Axel Twanzebi earlier in the week. Great to have him back in the fold as well. Yeah, it is. I mean. Yeah, I've spoken a lot about him before his injury. He's a very talented player. He's comfortable on the ball, athletic, and a really good defender. So, you know, I, I said with him and, and Chesie out, it was a big loss for us, you know, with the lack of centre back options that we had at the club. Um, you know, but now Tyrone and, and Courtney and have come in and did really well. We called Tommy back and he was doing well until his injury. So, um, you know, Fortunately, we've had players who can come in and cover eventually, but we had, we had to get through a sticky spell in January 1st. And Axel, of course, provides you yet another selection headache, I'm sure. Yeah, he does, and you know, uh, he gives me a lone headache as well, because uh, he obviously only allowed five out of the 18, so you know, one of them players will have to miss out having six. You know, with Axel coming back, I've got Tom Carroll, Courtney, Tyrone. Tammy and also um, Anwar as well. So, you know, one of them will unfortunately have to miss out, but we'll have to see how they're all training. And uh, again, that's one of the decisions I have to make. And just lastly, do you expect anybody else further back for Blackburn and how are the longer terms looking as we approach the final four or five weeks of the season now? Yeah, um, Henry and Axel should both be back, to be honest. They've been training fully with us for the last week now. Um, you know, they'll have a good two weeks training before the Blackburn game. Um, and then more longer term, we're hoping James Chester, I mentioned he's had a course of injections and you know he started light work um, on the bike and in the gym. Um, Tommy Alfix got the boot off now, he's walking around a little bit so you know he should be soon back as well. So we've got some players coming back now which is good. Cheers Dean, thank you. Cheers, thank you very much.